For Husker Countdown, I'm Zach Penrice. Upsets. They're one of the reasons that make sports awesome. When you least expect it, the heavy favorite goes down and the underdogs celebrate as if they've won their respective championship. But why do upsets happen? Oftentimes, they are caused by the underdog playing the best game of their season, like in the 2010 NCAA basketball tournament, when the number one overall seed Kansas Jayhawks fell to the number nine seed Northern Iowa Panthers. On the first day of spring, number one has fallen. More often, however, upsets are caused when the favorite to win the game are already looking ahead to their next contest, causing them to lose focus at the task at hand. Take baseball, for example. When the 2003 Chicago Cubs were up three games to one over the Florida Marlins before losing three in a row, costing them a trip to their first World Series since 1945. In the air, left field. And the Florida Marlins have come back from three games to one down to win the National League pennant. The feeling of losing to a team that seems inferior is all too familiar here in Lincoln. As recently as last season, the Huskers felt that pain when they traveled to West Lafayette, Indiana, for a date with the Purdue Boilermakers. The results were not too pretty. Is it picked off by Brown? It is! Intercepted! Mike's pass intercepted! That throw! Tip! Juggled! Picked off! Purdue gets it back! The loss to Purdue came right before Nebraska had a date with the undefeated Michigan State Spartans, which begs the question, were the Huskers looking past Purdue and ahead to Michigan State? Nebraska has also had many close calls with teams in recent years, most notably with McNeese State, a team out of the Southland Conference who gave Nebraska everything they could handle, as Nebraska won 31-24 thanks to a 58-yard touchdown pass to Amir Abdullah with less than 30 seconds to go. This week's game for Nebraska against Wyoming is a trap game. With the Oregon Ducks coming into town next week, it could be easy for Nebraska to look past Wyoming. One of the most famous upsets happened when a team overlooked an inferior opponent because the Oregon Ducks were coming to town the next week. And the kick is blocked! Appalachian State has stunned the college football world! One of the greatest upsets in sports history! Nebraska cannot afford to make the same mistake as Michigan did in 2007 when they lost to Appalachian State. Head coach Mike Riley knows that his team cannot afford to look past Wyoming having come off an emotional triple overtime win over Northern Illinois that didn't finish until 2.34 a.m. Every time you play somebody, you know, like Fresno or like Wyoming, I know, I know those guys because I had uh, kind of some of the same deal at Oregon State, right? I mean, they, they do have a little bit of a chip on their shoulder about them. So when our guys used to play SC, they were, they were fired up to do that. You know? So this is a big, big game for them, but it also should be for us. Anything could happen on Saturday when the Wyoming Cowboys roll into Memorial Stadium, and that's what makes college football great. For Nebraska, it is detrimental to focus on the task at hand and try to move to 2-0 before the 24th-ranked Oregon Ducks come to town next Saturday. For Husker Countdown, I'm Zach Penrice.